Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and today I am showing you exactly why I got my little eight shaft table loom to, to do sampling. Uh, so I have my regular loom here in the background and I didn't want to waste a whole lot of the hand spun yarn to sample for my blanket that I'm going to be making. So I used my little table loom. Um, so I did three samples at three different sets. So you can see the first sample is at 12 ends per inch and 12 picks per inch. And it's a fairly dense uh, feel, which I don't think that I like that. The next one is uh, 10 ends per inch and 10 picks per inch. This has a better feel. It's fairly uh, dense. And I'm thinking that once I wet finish it, it might be too dense once the wool blooms. So my last sample here is uh, 8 ends per inch and 8 picks per inch. This feels very light and open, but I'm thinking that when it blooms uh, in the wet finish, it will be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take these and I've secured the ends so that they don't fall apart. And I will throw them in a hot water bath, let them soak, and then take them out and dry them and see what they end up looking like. One of the other things that I have done is I have uh, taken measurements um, of each sample and recorded those so that when I finish the wet finishing, um, I can see what uh, kind of shrinkage I get. And that will also let me know on the final blanket how much uh, shrinkage I should get as a percentage. So we'll go ahead and throw these in the bath. Okay, so I've got uh, a basin set up here and I just put a little bit of uh, wool wash in there. Um, I probably got too much bubbles in there. Um, but I put as hot a water as my tap will give me. And I'm just going to, ow, that is hot. <laughs> um, push those down and um, let them set for uh, 15 or 20 minutes. And then I will come back and see how they look. All right, so here we are with our um, dried samples, and this is the eight ends per inch and eight picks per inch. Um, this one, I actually ended up felting a little bit because when I had it in the water and I went to go and push my finger up through it, um, it just went right through the wave structure. So uh, it was not a stable fabric. So I um, agitated it, put it in some hot water, uh, felted it a little bit, and it actually shrank um, a bit more than the other samples, which um, that's what happens when you felt, it shrinks. Um, it also locks the fibers together. And now I don't, I can't put my finger through it. Um, it's still nice and drapey, um, but, uh, we did lose some of the um, width and the length uh, more than the others. So let's go ahead and take the measurements on this one. Um, this uh, sample is nine and a quarter by, uh, looks like about four and a quarter. So I am measuring from, um, there's a stitch line here that you probably can't see. Uh, but then there's a, this white uh, thread going through here is where I measured from also. So um, we have four and a quarter 
by nine and a quarter. So let's write that here. Nine and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. Um, so I like I like how this cloth feels. Um, this is our uh, 10 ends per inch and 10 picks per inch. Um, this one I did not really need to felt. Uh, I couldn't get my finger through the cloth when it was wet, um, so that's fine. Uh, this one is, um, let's see, it looks like um, eight, that's about eight and a quarter. It kind of flares out right here. So we'll take an average. Looks like an eight and a quarter. And I'm measuring from this white line up here to this one right here. Um, and that looks like three and three quarters. So it's eight and a quarter by three and three quarters. Three and three quarters, all right? And um, this one actually feels a little, uh, it's not as stiff as I thought it would be. Um, it's still fairly drapey. It actually is feels like a really good um, blanket material. So here is our 12 ends per inch and 12 picks per inch. This one it feels too stiff to me. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be using 12, but let's go ahead and measure it. Uh, it's seven and a quarter by four and a quarter. All right, so now I'm going to uh, Put that information into my spreadsheet with the um, original uh, measurements and we'll see what the shrinkage uh, rate is for each one of these. So I've done that here and um, the width and length in the read is uh, before uh, any weaving, it was um, 12 and a half, 10 and eight and a third uh, inches in the reed. Once I wove it and there was some draw in, uh, it ended up being 11 and an eighth, nine and seven and two thirds. The length is after I wove, but this is under tension and this is off tension. So we had five and five eighths, four and five eighths and five, and uh, four and seven eighths, four and four and a half. So obviously um, with a wool yarn like this, it's, it's stretchy and it's going to be longer on the loom than off the loom. So now uh, we plugged in the finished measurements um, after we wet finished it and we came up with a shrinkage rate and not surprisingly the eight ends per inch one had a higher shrinkage rate because I had to felt it to make it a stable structure. Um, the 10 and the 12 ends per inch uh, the width shrank a little bit more on the 10 ends per inch. I might have felted it a little bit. 4% um, on the 12 ends per inch. Uh, that it, these numbers seem low, but you have to remember this is hand spun and I've wet finished it once already after I spun it. So there was some pre-shrinkage in there already. Um, and then uh, I wanted to make sure that I knew what my draw-in rate was. Um, on the 8 ends per inch, I was a little over 1 inch. On the 12 ends per inch, I was a little under 1 inch. But on the 10, I was uh, right about 1 inch. So that's a good number to know also. Um, so looking at uh, these numbers and feeling how the cloth feels. 
I know I'm not going to use the 12. So it's a difference between the 8 and the 10. I'm going to have more shrinkage if I use 8 ends per inch. And so it's really not going to save me any yarn. Um, I'm going to have basically double the shrinkage. Uh, so I think I like the feel and the look of the 10 ends per inch. And so I'm going to go with that one. That was my original thought um, that I would use 10 ends per inch, but sampling makes it so that I can actually see and experience what my blanket is going to look like and how much it's going to shrink. The worst thing I want could have happen is to uh, weave up this blanket that I've spent months and months spinning yarn for and then have it too small for my bed. That just would be heartbreaking. So now we need to calculate um, how much uh, warp and weft I need. So there are a number of different calculators out there. Um, you can uh, go online and use the, uh, it, I believe it's called the mother of all yarn calculators. And let's see, um, and it is by Margaret Co. Uh, she's got this online and it's great. You can plug it in. Um, this is the one off of the Jane Stafford website and it's just basic hand calculations. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so the width of my blanket is going to be um, 92 inches. And then um, I'm going to have one inch of draw-in and my shrinkage rate is about 8%. Um, 8% of 92 is 7.44, so we're just going to round it up to 8 inches. So the width in my read is going to be 101 inches. I have uh, 10 ends per inch, and so that is 1,010 um, ends. Now on um, calculating the warp length, my blanket is going to be uh, 94 inches. And you have the hems and fringe down here. Um, I like to keep my hem allowance up in my finished item length because that takes, you have the take up and the shrinkage um, added on to that. Uh, so I have two inches on either end of my blanket for a hem. So um, take up, uh, let's say 5%, which is going to be 4.7 inches. So let's say 5 inches. Our shrinkage is 6% um, right here. And this is the shrinkage in length. So be sure to use that one. Um, so 6% is uh, a little over 5.5 inches of 94. So let's just say 6 inches. Um, so we've already accounted for our hems and fringes. And so that leaves us with 105 inches for the length of one item. And I'm making one. If I were making two, you would double it. Uh, so we have 105 inches for our total length plus my loom loss. Um, I'm going to use 30 inches. Um, that is really, uh, my loom is normally around 20 inches, but I don't want to be fighting with the last 10 inches. Um, so uh, the length of my warp is going to be 135 inches. I'm going to divide that by 36 because uh, there's 36 inches in a yard. And I'm going to come up with 3.75 yards. All right. So now to figure your total um, warp uh, yardage needed. 
you take 3.75, so total warp. Um, take 3.75 yards, so that is the length of each warp thread. I have 1,010 warp threads, so I'm going to warp threads. I'm going to multiply 3.75 times 1,010, and that comes up to 3,787 and a half yards. So that is how much I need for um, my warp. Now to figure your weft, um, as Jane writes here, uh, you can just double your warp and have enough for your weft. But because this is hand spun, we can take um, and figure exactly what, how much weft we need by saying our width is 101 inches and we're going to assume a 5% take up. So uh, let's say five inches. And so, um, each pick is going to be 106 inches long. So if I take and divide that by 36 inches per yard, I get 2.94 yards. And then I am weaving 105 inches at 10 picks per inch, so that is 1,050 picks. Oops. So my total yardage is 2.94 yards times 1,050 picks, which comes up to 3,091.67 yards of weft. So I need 3,092 yards uh, for my weft yarn. Uh, now I need to divide that up um, among the, I think, six different colors that I have, but um, that's easy to do. It's just proportional. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I have enough now, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, warping it. I need to order a new reed because I don't have a 10 dent reed that is long enough for this blanket. Um, but uh, now that I know that 10 uh, ends per inch is going to work just fine, I can safely order that uh, reed. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you're notified for when I release future videos. Thanks and happy weaving.